In this lecture, we're going to look at toasts within Ionic. On screen, you can see Ionic on three different platforms, the Android, iOS, and Windows platform. Let's head over to a blank project, and inside of our homepage, I'm gonna change the title to Toast, and we will have, firstly, a button that says Show Toast, with the click event of Show Toast. So if we write this event inside of our homepage, inside of here, we'd have to call the toast controller and the show method. So we'd have to import the toast controller from Ionic Angular and inject this inside of our constructor. So private toast, toast controller. We then have access to this toast element. So we can say this dot toast dot either config or create. For now, let's simply say create, and the create needs some toast options. So let's import the toast options just to see what's inside. We could make a new variable named toast options of type toast options. And let's take a look at what we can set within our toast. So we can do things like a message, add a particular CSS class, a duration, close button, and so on. Let's use a few of these inside of our project. So in the constructor here, or wherever you like, we can say this toast options is equal to, and then provide some toast options. We could say message and provide a particular message, such as Ionic is awesome. We could add a duration such as 3000, and that would be three seconds. And then if we pass these toast options into our create method, such as this dot toast options, we're then creating a toast. So let's save this. And if we add the ion button attribute to our button, we should now be able to click show toast. But our toast doesn't appear and that's because we need to show the toast or we might have created the toast, but now we need to show it. So let's say const toast is equal to this dot toast dot create. And then we can say toast dot present. You could also, if you wanted to remove this const toast is equal to this new toast and simply add the dot present on the end of this assertion. So there's a couple of ways in which you can do this. It just depends on how much you need to interact with this toast. If we then click show toast, we get a toast here on Android, a toast here on iOS, and a toast here on Windows. Because Ionic changes the style depending on the operating system, you can see that it acts differently each time. If we take a look again, you see we have three different implementations but all the same underlying code base, which is really nice. Let's say we wanted to have an ion item and inside of the ion item would be a label and an input. The ng model from within the input would be toast message and the label would say message and this label would be floating. And we can say that the toast message is a string. We can set our toast options up differently. We can say the message is equal to this dot toast message and the duration is still three seconds. And if we click again, this time we'll type something in here like hello world. But when we click our toast, it doesn't appear. And that's because we have to change the way that we have this set up. So we need to add the toast options into the show toast. And if we do that and then type in hello world once again, our toast then appears here at the bottom. But what if we don't want a duration on the toast? Maybe we want to keep the toast until somebody clicks a button. Well, we can do that too. Let's remove the duration of 3000. And instead we can say, show close button equal to true. And if we just save this as it is, and we type something in the box, such as hello world, once again, you see that we now have this toast at the bottom of the screen, but it doesn't go. It stays there until we click the close button. And when we click the close button, the toast is removed. We can change the text for that by saying the close button text is equal to, and I'm gonna put the button to close toast instead. So instead of saying close, it now should say close toast. And if we click the toast again, we have that message of pull and the close button text of close toast. This is updated on all of the platforms. We also have something called a position. And from within here, we can specify either top, bottom, or middle. Let's have a look at top. 
So now if we add something to our toast, our toast appears at the top of the page. Let's have a look at middle. If we try it once again, our toast appears in the middle of the screen. And finally, the default is of course bottom. So that about wraps up using toasts inside of Ionic 3.